The Livid Instruments Guitar Wing puts the control of your software or hardware on board your guitar or bass and gives you the ability to create custom ways to interact with various DAWs, plugins, visuals, and effects. In this video, we're going to look at some ways to launch drum loops for rehearsal or practice, uh, the use of using Waves Stompbox plugins and controlling them with the wing, and then the use of it in any DAW. In this case, we'll be using it in the soon-to-be-released Bitwig. As you can see here in the video, I'm launching various clips. These clips are from GrooveMonkey.com, who have great drum clips. As I launch the clips, I'm recording into each scene on the audio channel next to the MIDI drums that are firing off. This way I can record various parts of a song, either along with me during live performance, to create backing tracks, or simply just to rehearse. Next, we'll use some of these recorded bass and drum loops to come up with some various effects using the Waves plugins and controlling stomp box effects. And I'm firing off the various parts of the groove, different bass and drum clips. Now as I fire off a different part of the song, I can also switch my effects, and I have an auto wah. Once again, I'll switch parts of the groove, change the effects on the guitar, and now we have a chorus vibrato delay for this part of the groove. So you can see I'm doing much more than just turning on and off stomp boxes. I'm actually performing with different parts of the song and changing tones as I move along. This can be great in the studio or on stage. Now I have an example of utilizing the guitar wing in Bitwig. What I've done is I've assigned one of the velocity sensitive pads on the wing to an effects chain that's on send A. I'm then sending my guitar signal out to that effects chain. It's comprised of a delay, a reverb, and some heavy compression, all with Bitwig's native effects. This is just one example of the various DAWs that you can utilize the Guitar Wing's functionality within. You can think about sending these out to various effects units. I only have it assigned to one right here for something kind of dramatic. But you could assign this to various sends. And you could send different amounts as the velocity sensitive pad will allow you to turn it up and down as little or as much as needed. This way you can get textures and sounds that you may never have thought of in traditional guitar setups. <laughs> 